Hello, good evening, and welcome to the Trinity Dutchman. Today I'm going to talk to you about a subject that uh, I'm quite passionate about, and um, I was thinking a little bit about it today, and I thought that I would uh, talk about it in my uh, my vlog of t uh, my, on tonight's vlog, and it's the uh, the socialization uh, of boys and uh, sort of what we expect from them uh, in 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 today's society, in North American society in particular, but in probably all Western societies, and I wanted to say with my limited experience as a parent, I'm in no need, uh, in no way, shape or form an expert. And I also didn't have a father, so I don't always have the uh, the model of what it is uh, for, for masculinity and, and that sort of thing, just being completely straight and completely honest with you. But I will say that um, as a parent, uh, and as also a man myself that was once a boy, you're doing the biggest disservice if you have a boy to uh, to not let him express grief, sadness, um, to express anger in an appropriate way. You're doing the greatest disservice because boys often, than when they grow up to be men, they won't know how to properly express their emotions. And I think to be in tune with your emotions is something that's 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 often lost in our society, especially with men. Uh, one really wonderful thing that I see amongst my friends that are women, most of my friends are women, is that they are able to express their emotions. They are able to uh, to talk to their friends about something that's bothering them. And I think that's absolutely fantastic. And I'd like to see that more uh, amongst amongst my friends that are males, that they're able to, to just talk about their emotions, something that did make them sad. Why did it make them sad? Talk about their grief, deal with their grief. What often happens with us men is that when we don't talk about it or we don't express our grief, then we can turn to maladaptive behaviors to try to cope with the pain that we're feeling. Um, so it's almost like we're sidestepping or we're not acknowledging it because in the society that we live in, we're told that men are supposed to be tough. We're supposed to be uh, stronger than it all and we're supposed to be able to just grin and bear and, and uh, suck it up buttercup. But that's not the case. I want to say that, as they say in Dutch, that's complete onzin. And I want to suggest and perhaps challenge the view, your view as a viewer today to, especially if you're a parent of a boy, to, to actively allow him to express if he's sad or if he's angry, teach him appropriate ways. So, for example, with my son, when he's angry, I'm trying really hard to show him that slapping someone is not the answer. You know, you treat women with respect. Um, and it's also a daily process for myself. I mean, I'm not saying I'm a guru on uh, on expressing my emotions and that sort of thing. I've taken classes on it. Um, I still would like to continue of taking classes in mindfulness. And it's going to probably be a lifelong process. But the message I want everyone to get from, from this message, from this, from this vlog today, is that... Uh, you know, it's really, it's just equally important for males to to be able to openly express their emotions and if something was uh, displeasurable for them or if something does make them sad, to be able to say, look, I'm sad. And, uh, you know, when my son, I was saying uh, on Facebook today, if my son cries, I'm not going to tell him to stop crying. I'm going to try to ask him why he's crying and see if I can console him because there's absolutely nothing wrong with my son crying or my daughter crying. So there you have it. I know it's a little bit more on a serious note, but that's the training Dutchman for today. If you have any questions or comments or even tips for me on how to uh, be more of a nurturing father to my son, I'm definitely open ears. Okay, so goeie avond and tot ziens. Dag!